In case you missed it, we're in Osaka, Japan. In our part one video, we explore the Dotenbori, Nipponbashi, and Shinsekai areas. In this video, we're doing two activities you cannot miss if you're visiting Osaka. Starting off with one of our favorite places in all of Japan, Round One Stadium. It's the biggest arcade in Japan with spaces for recreational sports, arcade games, casino areas, UFO machines, pretty much anything you can think of. And when we say it's big, we mean it. There are 13 floors if you include the two basement floors, each one full of things to do. What makes round one summer you have to visit is its spocha areas. These are floors with close to full-size playing spaces. You can play basketball, badminton, volleyball, tennis, the list goes on. Wait. It's hard to believe that you're in the city center while playing tennis, shooting hoops, or riding a mechanical ball. There's even a baseball batting space on the roof, which is so much fun. Wow. So there are a lot of levels to this place, and each level is a little different to the one above or below it. We walked in onto the kind of like gaming arcade type area, more ball machines, wow. that type of thing. You go downstairs, and there's even more claw machines and games. When we came here last time we were in Japan, I think we spent all our money in this place. We came here like every day playing the claw machines. We got a few prizes. You might notice people walking around here have actually won things, which might be a surprise, but if the staff see you struggling, they'll give it a little nudge, put it in a strategic position to help you out. Like they want you to win, which is pretty cool. purchase we were given some free tokens to play in the casino area yep you heard that right there's even a casino space but what happens in the casino stays in the casino there's even a space for karaoke but we appreciate you guys too much to put you through that with plenty of activities to choose from I think a friendly game of table tennis seems most appropriate here a lot of the things like the table tennis will have a timer so you get 10 minutes at a time so that means everyone can rotate through which is really handy so no one can hog the one thing so this floor has like tennis volleyball basketball like proper setups which is pretty cool and this is all included in your like timed entry which is awesome Arcade game selection is so good. There are so many games we've never seen before, but they also have the classic arcade staples too. The only mistake you can make visiting round one is not allowing enough time. We think you need at least three hours to get a taste of everything and we highly recommend it. But now, it's time for some dinner. For dinner tonight, we have come to a place called the Gyoza O. Very popular place here in Dotenbori. We had to wait in line for quite a while. They have some vegetarian options, which is great. We're talking really quickly because we're about to share a table. <laughs> it's a place that's, I think, tailored towards tourists. 
The menu outside is in English, but that's okay. It's really popular, so it must be good. And gyoza. It's delicious, so. And to be fair, there are some Japanese people in line too, so <laughs> I think that says a lot. We've gone with some classic gyoza that Stace will eat that has pork inside. We've also gone with some deep fried cheese and potato, which is kind of like potato cake, but not like crispy on the outside like Australians would expect. It's soft and obviously with cheese on the inside. I've also gone with some vegetarian gyoza and also some fried chicken. So I'm pretty excited to dig in. Yeah. Oh. Guys, the last time we had fried chicken was in Nashville of all places. So totally different to Osaka. We loved our time in Nashville. And if you haven't seen that video, we'll put it up there in the corner. That was one of our favorite spots on this year long travel journey. But we also love Osaka. How's the fried chicken? Osaka is one of our favorite cities in Japan because it has so many things you can do. From exploring Dotenbori street food to Pokemon hunting in Nippon Bashi and everything else in between. But if there's one other activity we really don't want you to miss in Osaka, it's this next one. Tonight we are going to the Team Lab Botanical Gardens Exposition here in Osaka. We have been to Team Lab before in Tokyo more than I think five years ago but this one is different for a number of reasons one being that it's outdoors so we're going to be walking through the gardens looking at the lights as it slowly becomes nighttime. We've also not been home all day so we're in our day wear and it was warmish today so it's a bit chilly now. Shorts probably not the best option but we'll roll with it. Look at the moon! All right guys we've made it inside we were given a little bit of a like tutorial, I suppose, or a briefing on what to expect and what the whole kind of outdoor museum is like. One being is that it's actually interactive and the artworks change depending on the people around and how things are moving. Also, apparently there's an artwork that changes each day depending on the movements of the birds. So I thought that was really cool. There's a sign at the beginning that says that you can download an app that gives you more information about each artwork. This is called the Resonating Crepe Myrtles. And when people pass by, they shine more brightly and they produce a tone. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. If you've seen photos from this Team Lab experience online, chances are that they feature these colourful ovoids. There's something so cool about experiencing an exhibit outdoors, in the pitch black, but also being fully immersed inside of one. Ovoids can change between 57 different colours. I like to pretend it's changing depending on what you're thinking or feeling. So when it's green, you're wicked. And now, I'm happy. We booked our tickets to this Team Lab experience with Kluke. This video isn't sponsored, but we highly recommend using Kluke. They're an all-in-one platform and their app is really easy to use. And if you use our code go for launch Kluke, you can get a discount too. Team Lab aims to explore an environment where human perception expands from the artwork itself to the environment, which is why it's located where it is. It's a botanical garden by day and an art space by night. The space transforms interactively, influenced by wind and rain, as well as the behavior of the people and birds around it, making them an essential part of the works and also ensuring no two days of the experience will be the same. Each one is unique. Subscribe. So I think what we're looking at now is the piece that is affected by the things that fly, whether it be birds or bats. Unfortunately, nothing in the sky at the moment, but it is pretty mesmerizing to look at. So that was a super cool exhibit here at Teen Lab. It's probably the most famous one here at the Botanical Gardens Teen Lab. It's definitely where you see all the photos and videos of these giant inflatable eggs. It's pretty spectacular, super cool, definitely like incredible how it's dark and then all the lights and how they change colours and sometimes they're all the same colour. I personally love it when they're all different colours, I think that looks really cool, but it is definitely hard to get the, get the photo with the lighting. I have to say, it's so simple, so I think a lot of people would say it was meh, but sometimes things can be really beautiful and I think that this is one of those cases and the contrast of night and then light. I just think it's so pretty and mesmerizing to look at. I just love the whole art being outdoors type thing. I think that's a really cool contrast. 
And I think it's a really cool place for kids because they were definitely running around those eggs, <laughs> chasing each other, banging off of them and stuff like that. So definitely got that interactive element that I think kids would really love. You can see the colour of the eggs change as I change colour. Wow. So obviously as this is an outdoor exhibit that requires it to be dark, Team Lab Botanical Garden is only open in the night time. It's actually only open for two hours at the moment each night, I think 7.30 to 9.30. We've been here an hour already, we got here before it opened and it's just after 8.30 now, so definitely recommend coming when it does open so you can maximise your time and make sure you don't run out of time as well. This might be the final exhibit. Kind of looks like lanterns out on the it's lake. Tangled. It is like tangled. It is like Tangled, which if you haven't seen our previous video of us at Disney Sea, we hopefully got on that ride. If you want to check it out, we'll put it up there in the corner and I'm sure we had an epic day. So what do you think? Are these two unmissable activities in Osaka? Let us know in the comments down below. Stay tuned for our third and final video from Osaka where we do a makeshift street food tour. But for now, YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I've done ballet?